Hello learners, welcome to the class. So today's video is about data validation custom format. So as we have seen in the previous two videos of data validation that it is used to control or restrict data entered in a cell. Cell only accepts certain entries and it is restricted to take values in a certain formats only. So we have seen list, we have seen number, date and a whole number decimal. In this video, we will see the custom data validation and uh, use some formulas to restrict our data. So starting with the text only. So let's say if you want to enter the end user to enter only text in a column, let's say it's a name column and you want the user to enter only text. So you can select the whole area in which you want to do the data validation, go to data tab. In the data tools group, there is a data validation option. So in this setting option, you can select custom. And here in formula bar, you can write is text. And you have to write the first column name. It is B5 in this case. So I'm writing B5. Okay. So it's done. Now we can check. Let's say. Okay. Let's say I'm typing one, two, three. So it will not allow me to enter numbers or next comes the length limit option. Suppose you want your uh, cell length limit is 50 and you want the user to not cross that limit. Okay, let's say it's a remark column and you want the customer to give a remark, but in the restricted length limit of 50 characters only. So in uh, so for that reason, you can select the cells on which you want your data validation, going to the data validation window, selecting custom in the settings and going for that. Len is equals to len parenthesis open and the first cell address so in this case it is c5 parenthesis close is equals to let's say for the test reason i just want 10 to be the length limit okay so now when i'm typing something let's say it is giving me error that it has exceeded the length limit of 10 so now coming to the data range, in this case, we want the user to enter the date from the start date and uh, it should be between the start date and the end date. Means you want to give a date range that uh, from 1 June 2024 to 30th June 2024. So in this case, you can select the cells, data validation, custom and here you will write and you will write and parenthesis open cell first cell address it is d5 in this case is greater than equals to date formula parenthesis open and let's say so let's say we want the user to enter the date between 1 june 1 january to 30th June, the half year. So we have typed that and after that D5 your cell less than equals to date formula parenthesis open 2024 6 is the month and 30th is the date parenthesis close and one more parenthesis close <coughs> one more parenthesis close so pressing ok let's try by giving some valid and invalid dates so it is from 1 january to 30th january so first let us give some valid data so it is ok let's give 10 july 2024 so it is restricting us to enter the valid data now coming to the number only format so let's assume you want the user to enter his her age which will be numbers only 
and you want to restrict it to three up to three digits or you can say up to two digits only or you don't want a person of 100 age so you want the person to enter in two digits or one digit so for that reason you are going to select your uh, cell range go to data validation window and selecting custom over here and I have just copied that formula let's read it out is equals to and parenthesis open is number e5 e5 is the cell, first cell address e5 so is number is giving a command that it should be number only then comma len e5 is less than 3 len e5 will count the length of the input data and uh, it should be less than 3 only so there are two conditions over here the entered data should be in numbers and should be less than 3 so pressing ok over here and let's check with some valid and invalid data so let the user typed 25 at as his age so it's acceptable let us assume the user typed 100 as his age so it is not taking that value let's type some now uh, alphabets also let's assume the person typed 100 like this it is not applicable so we have seen number only so coming to unique value let's assume you want the user to enter some data and you want the data should not be repetitive every data should be unique for that you have to select the cells and go to data validation pressing custom selecting custom in the formula we have to write count if parenthesis open dollar f5 to dollar f100 parenthesis close comma f5 parenthesis close is equals to 1 so what it is going to do we have given over here some data range f5 to f100 and uh, we are saying count if this equal if this value entered in this every cell the system will count the uniqueness it will match every value with the hundred values that it is unique what this function is going to do it is going to match the entered value with all the other values entered in the previous cells that the count should be one only if the count will be two means the data is repetitive it is entered again by the user so it will throw an exception or a message alert that this data is duplicate you cannot enter that so pressing ok over here so let's assume this is an address column and every column should be unique so we are typing the flat numbers ok then comes ok so let's retype d34 and see what it is doing So it is not allowing us to enter the duplicate values so now coming to custom ID so let's assume you want to create custom IDs and you want the students to give some IDs like if the student you have to give G hyphen 25 if the person the student is in high school you have to give H hyphen 36 then if the student is an in intermediate you have to give I dash 54 so how so for that we are going to select the cell range going on data validation tab pressing custom and in the formula we will write a long formula so let's start with the and formula so let's start with the formula which will use g hash h hash and i hash so let's say left parenthesis open and uh, we want g5 comma we want two digits because g is one and hash is one 
parenthesis open is equals to semicolon sorry uh, quotes starting g hash then comma so this will give the g hash thing pressing comma left g5 comma 2 parenthesis close is equals to parenthesis h hash again writing left g5 comma 2 is equals to i hash so the here we have done that the data should be like this only the first two characters should be from the left should be either g hash h hash or i hash so this is all done so we have to put all this in a parenthesis okay now what we have to do we have to put one or so that any of this is applicable or allows you to do any one condition means or allows any one condition if the inter data is in the format g hash h hash or i hash it will allow other than this it will not allow so now what should be our criteria we want the roll numbers are in two digits so we want the total length of the text entered here should be 4 g hash 2 5 makes 4 characters so the length should be 4 so we have to add that also here that length should be 4 then comes the question that the ids should be unique so for we for that we are going to use count if and we are going to combine all these means this all left function combined in the or with len and count if so first of all putting an and and giving a parenthesis over here then Okay, so you can see now better now giving a comma and giving len function g5 is equals to 4 then coming count if colon dollar g5 dollar g hundred comma g5 closing it should be less than equals to equals to one now putting a parenthesis and pressing ok So it is done now we are going to try by putting some valid and invalid data so let's assume we are going to put g hash 25 it is acceptable let's assume we are putting h hash 36 it is ac acceptable let's put j 54 it is not acceptable because we are having only three entries to be done over here g h and i we don't want any other character so it is not allowing us let's assume i hash 12 it is aligned so in this way you have seen we have tried six different formats text only length limit date range number only unique value and custom id so hope you find this video helpful if you so if you find so then please subscribe to the channel and like this video comment your queries and thank you so much for watching this video do subscribe to the channel meet you in next video